Real quick before I start this video, Pop Sockets is allowing me to give away two free Pop Sockets to you guys. And if you want to enter, go check out the link in the description. It's going to be a Gleam.io giveaway. And if you've never entered a Gleam giveaway, you can enter multiple times uh, depending on what options you do. But first and foremost, you're going to have to be subscribed to me. But otherwise, there's going to be a bunch of other optional uh, entries that you can do. And it's up to you whether you want to do them or not. You don't have to enter, but I just wanted to give back to my subscribers a little bit because I've hit a thousand and it's all because of you guys and Kimberly. But if you guys are interested, please check out the link in the description for a giveaway and enjoy the video. What's going on guys? Today I've got something super exciting to show you. I just received a package from Pop Sockets and uh, they wanted me to share some things with you. So uh, I've got this package right here. I almost showed you all my information, <laughs> but I'm gonna unbox it right now. So uh, let's just do it. All right, hopefully this isn't too loud. I turned the mic around so you could hear me better, uh, but I'll try and talk a little quieter because it is right next to my mouth. But here goes nothing. It's really sticky. I honestly don't know much about this package, so we'll see, uh, see what we got going on here. Something stuck in the bottom, but it's big. Hmm. We'll save that big one for later. Ah, a mount for pop sockets. I actually got this. Uh, I bought this a couple months back, and it does not stick to my car. It sticks to some people's, but uh, not mine. This one, uh, this goes into your car vent, so uh, that one actually will work for me. Get that into frame, uh, but we'll see. Come on, focus. This will actually work for me, uh, so we'll see. I'll try it out for a little bit, but uh, right now I don't have my pop socket on, so uh, let's see if what's in here will make that difference oh boy we've got a lot of oh boy we've got trailblazers pop sockets a custom fredwood dose pop socket that is dope and is this the new twist dang all right so we've got all custom pop sockets right here this is pretty cool uh Dang, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Bob Socket. This is, uh, this is really cool. I don't know. <laughs> I want to put it on my phone, but I kind of just want to put it up somewhere. Uh, dang. Well, uh, thank you, Pop Sockets, for these four uh, Pop Sockets. This is actually really, really awesome. So the reason why Pop Sockets reached out to me was because of my video, my most popular video, don't use a Pop Socket on the new iPhones. But a while back, they fixed the problem. So they wanted to let me know, and they wanted me to uh, have the chance to tell all of you guys that have seen this video uh, that you can now use pop sockets with your glass back iPhone and today I'm going to show you how excuse any fingerprints that are on this uh, device because there's probably a lot I just like wiped it off real quick but there's probably some even now so we'll see so we're gonna use this bad boy to test it out uh, just in case you didn't see right here it says iPhone X and 8 users look inside. Instead of tearing right through it, you can just open it up. Here's the sticker. You're going to apply this to the back of your iPhone and uh, it'll make it so you can actually use the pop socket with your glass back. I'm going to read out this quick warning uh, because it is very important even though this is what the entire video is about. It says, read me. If you use your phone without a case or glass back protector, you must apply enclosed adhesive disc to the back of your phone before attaching your pop socket grip. The pop socket's grip will not adhere otherwise due to anti-fingerprint coating on the glass. This disc can be repositioned up to three times. So that's pretty important. Only three chances to position this. 
and uh, otherwise it won't stick. So here's the sticker, that's nothing too special. Here's my iPhone, and here's the pop socket. So, without any further ado, peel back the sticky, well the non-sticky part. So now, I think this is how you do it. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue what I'm doing right now. So I'm just gonna put this down in what I think. This is the scary part. It's because I honestly don't really know how to do this. So we're gonna put this in the middle. Push out all the air bubbles. I'll do this off camera real quick. It's not perfect, the air bubbles are not perfectly gone, but if there's anything I've learned about putting sticky stuff on phones, especially the screen protectors. I used to work at AT&T, so I've got a little bit of background knowledge. The air bubbles will take about 48 hours to go away on their own, so if you have a couple like that, so if you have a couple like I do, you can see it better when the reflection of the window is there. Uh, they'll probably go away, and sometimes they don't all go away, which kind of sucks, but there's uh, nothing really you can do about it. <laughs> but this is going to be covered by the pop socket entirely, so not a huge worry. So now, let's put it on the pop socket. Alright, plastic is off. Pick up the iPhone. I'm going to rub it off one more time so there's no dust. And uh, line it up. Press down on it pretty hard. Let's position that correctly, and uh, it's not perfectly in the center, but boom! <sighs> now, the scary test. Pulling it. I know you're supposed to take a long time to let it settle, but unless you're Peeling it back, and I'm going to try and do this without breaking this uh, part again. <laughs> that's pretty dang stuck on there. Yeah, that's stuck on there very, very well. Great job, Pop Sockets. You've redeemed yourself, and uh, sorry I ever uh, was mean to you <laughs> in a video. So, there you have it. The Pop Socket is beautiful, and uh, it sticks nice and tight on the glass back of the iPhone and uh, if I'm being totally honest I was pretty freaking skeptical because because at the end of the day this is just a tiny little sticker I couldn't tell you what kind of like adhesive it is uh, maybe someone in the comments or uh, someone from pop Sockets can let me know but that's crazy that just a little piece of plastic makes a difference I can tell you that it's a special adhesive because I tried many different things to put on the back of my phone to put the pop socket on before I made that video to see if I could make my own fix for it, but I couldn't. Uh, and so, whatever you did, pop sockets, you did a great job. And uh, thank you because honestly, if you own one of these new iPhones and you like, and you've held the naked phone in your hands, you know how good it feels compared to holding on to a case and it just, it feels so good and uh, I'm glad that I can actually use a pop socket with uh, the glass back again. Uh, so thank you, thank you for sending out some uh, goodies for me and uh, if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and comment down below. Uh, are you happy that this is fixed? <laughs> Are you a huge Pop Sockets fan? Does this make you really happy? Because it makes me happy. And before I end the video, I want to give a huge shout out to Ken Daly for reaching out to me. Uh, this is a great opportunity. This is really awesome that you did this for me. And I uh, hope to keep in touch with you in the future. But I think that's all for now. So if you have not already, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. I don't know that. Alexa wasn't talking to you. Okay, sorry. Dang right. And uh, also, I've got a custom freaking sock puppet, boys and girls.